there was a movie about the Valentino called The Valentino and the Last Emperor. Uh, it was um, shocking to see so many private moments in a big screen with people around you sharing this. We decided to call it private Giancarlo Giammetti because it really is entering my private world. We have to consider this book as a scrapbook, as a, just a something to show a very nice life, a very special life uh, of two people, um, without uh, the pretentious to say, oh, it's a photographic book. No, it's a book with photographs. Polaroid was a, an amazing camera because it was not uh, just a, a camera that you use, but it was a mean to, to have an amazing sharing with people because uh, you do a pictures and then you show immediately to somebody else. Uh, Andy Warhol was, um, was very much a Polaroid uh, fan. You throw those pictures all the time on the, on the floor, on the table, and uh, you could take the pictures uh, and use it. Uh, it was, um, and also the quality of the pictures uh, was great. I had over 57,000 pictures. Uh, very well uh, put in an archive, a digital archive, uh, the last three years. We have been working on that. But the, the re real pictures, the original pictures, were kept in albums. I did the, all my life albums and diaries. I would like to hear the reaction of my mother to the book, for example. Uh, definitely it would be uh, much different from, uh, for example, Jan Vreeland. She would just say, oh, boys, you did it again, it's amazing. When I decided to do the book, I, I felt very much encouraged by some friends um, who know much better than I did at the time the work of Martine Prospera Sulin. And when I met them, of course, they were they made me so at home, so easy, so feeling that it will be easier to go through this process. <laughs> Even if it's a bit heavy, it's, um, it's fun, it's uh, captivating, it's uh, sexy, and, you know, I like it.